Hi guys, so I'm going to read more fun comics, number 58, The Spectre Story. So, The Spectre by Jerry Siegel and Bernard Bailey. No one knows that Jim Corrigan, hard-fisted detective, is in reality the earthbound Spectre, whose mission is to rid this world of crime. Cornered by the police, a vicious gangster succeeds in keeping the officers of the law at bay. I can hold them off till doomsday. And if they try to rush me, it'll cost them dearly. At that moment, Jim Corgan arrives. It looks as if we'll never get him out. Let's see what the Spectre can do about it. Invisible to those about him, Jim's special counterpart leaves his body and up leaps the Spectre and into the building, sheltering the cornered crook. Then, may I butt in? Huh? What's this? Keep away! Bang, bang! You, you've hit me! And as the weird figure sinks to the floor, Hey, hey, that's the last of him. Then, here's a present for you coppers. The fool is going to get the shock of his life in a few minutes. Down plunges the specter, crashing into the sidewalk. But instead of being destroyed, he bounces right back up again. I'm here again. But you, you can't be. You're dead. I just killed you. The gangster seizes a rifle. It's a trick, but this'll take care of you. You're welcome to try. Right, right through you. Disappointed. No, no spook. I'm getting out of here. Tiring my, tiring my company so soon. Running into another room, the thug slams the door shut. Woo, made it. M my gosh. I'm, I'm here again. That's the payoff. I'm going batty. I gotta get out of here. The gangster runs out to the waiting cops. Put your hands up, Nick. Hey, cuff me. Put me in prison. But take me away from this place. It's haunted. And as the specter combines with Jim's figure, it worked. Jim accompanies Nick to the patrol car on the way to the police station. Where's your partner hiding out? You mean Pete? I don't know. But Jim is reading Nick's mind. Hey, if they knew Pete was at the Brent warehouse. Thanks, Nick. That's what I wanted to know. Once again, the specter goes into action. Now to find a guy named Pete. Through the night streaks the specter in the form of a blazing comet. Look in the sky! Ron, it's the end of the world! Upon reaching the Brent warehouse, the specter shrinks in size. Just like a deflating balloon then strolls under the warehouse door. What burglar wouldn't give to do this? A man tied to a post, and Pete is about to set the place on fire. But you can't do this. It's murder. Can I just watch? I wave from the specter's hand and... Hey, what's this? The flame has turned into an icicle. Next instant, Pete sights the reflection of the specter's face on the ice. Am I seeing things? Then as the specter's eyes bore into Pete's eyes. No, no! Good grief, he's melting! Yes, consumed by the villainy within him. Tell me, who are you? And why was Pete going to do this to you? I'm Bob Brent, owner of this warehouse. I don't know why I was brought here, but Pete said someone hired him. Who are you? Me. Just think of me as some sort of guardian angel. You better go home now. Thanks for all you've done. Don't mention it. But as Brent drives off, the specter trails along. Somehow I have a hunch that Brent will need me before the night is over. Then as Brent turns into a barren one-way street, That truck is out of control! A crash is inevitable! The specter concentrates, and the car leaps over the onrushing truck, in the ki kitchen, I don't understand. I give him enough poison to kill a dozen men, and he wants more. And why not? Good heavens! Where did you... How did... Frightened, but not frightened enough to tell me who ordered you to kill Brent. I won't tell. I... I... Oh, yes, you will. Or you will die. Would you like that, James? You can't frighten me. I faced death before. I'm not afraid to die. Not afraid. 
They will look into my eyes. Look deep. Release me. Don't let me look. I'll tell you anything. Anything. That's better. Now talk. But at that instant, the telephone rings. Answer it. <laughs> yes. If it's for the master, then summon him. The specter renders himself invisible as Brent appears. Hello. It's Oh, it's you, Morse. Want to see me at the warehouse at once? It's important. I'll be there as soon as I can. No, I've got to do it quickly. Before James can pull the trigger. Stop! You! This time you are too late. I'll riddle him with bullets. I'll... As the specter snaps his fingers, the butler noiselessly explodes in a nothingness and a brilliant flash of color. You asked for it. Brent has an invisible passenger as he le leaves, drives into the warehouse. I wonder what my partner wants to see me about so late in the evening. That's just what I was wondering, too. Later. What's up, uh, Morris? Sit down and I'll show you. This. I'm going to kill you, Brent. Kill me? But why? Because I've taken too much of the firm's money, my dear partner. You, will sec you were second to find out and send me to prison. And so when I kill you, I remove a possibility of a jail term. Then it was you who hired that gangster to sail slay me. Bright boy, you hit it right on the head. After Morris ties Brent, in five minutes this bomb will explode, and you will go up with it, and I'll be off to enjoy my ill-gotten gains. You fiend! But as Morris turns to depart, Just a minute! Huh? I'll be with you in a moment. The specter! Keep away! What manner of creature are you? I'm your sins, Morris, and I finally caught up with you. But at that instant, a brilliant puff of smoke and the specter vanishes. He's gone, and I'm getting out of here before that bomb goes off. Unexpectedly, the specter finds himself floating through the deepest black space. Some cosmic occurrence sending me back, back to the spirit world. But Brent's in danger. I can't help let, leave him helpless back there in the material world. I've got to get back. Summoning all his willpower, the specter concentrates. Back! Back to Earth! Back! Back! The thrill of relief floods the specter as he materializes back into the warehouse. You're back again. I've got to get you out of here. Untying Brent, they both run from the building a moment before the devastating blast. Boom! Now to attend to Morris. Stringing down through the night, Spectre alights before the crooked partners hurtling out Otto. The Spectre! I'll run you down! Snatching up the car, the Spectre hurls it into the sky so that it flies up, up, and out of view. Then back to Brent. Let me reward you! I seek no reward. My only desire is to see justice done. Goodbye. And it says the Spectre will be back next month. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be appreciated. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.